Hi, welcome to BusyBots. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to take a look with you at Thingiverse. I was looking for something uh, large and impressive to print at an upcoming Maker Fair, and so I went to Thingiverse to browse around. Now when you come to Thingiverse, on the homepage you'll see this featured section where they have uh, currently six different uh, six different things, usually uh, maybe popular things or impressive things or interesting things. You can also click on things and then go to newest things and uh, just click through. And that's what I was doing, just kind of browsing around, trying to look for something. And I came across this low polygon printable mask by the 3D library. And I saw that four people have made one. Uh, I added one myself here. And uh, I'd like to point out, uh, if you do download and print, take the time to share a photo. It's really helpful to the creator of the file and it's helpful to anyone else, when anyone else that comes along because it gives you an idea of how they print, uh, what it may look like. Here's the one that I printed and this is on the Mendel Max and uh, this is a large print so there's also a derivative. If you come down here, this derivative has been, has been resized to fit on the MakerBot replicator. So depending on your printer you may want to print this derivative or the original low polygon mask and before I printed, I did take a look and I looked through these photos to get an idea of what it might look like and how big it was and, and just get a general idea uh, of the quality of the file and the design. Uh, I did run it through the NetFab repair service just as a matter of course. I do that with just about everything. And um, I was looking at this last one here. It looked like the, the print didn't finish uh, for whatever reason. Maybe the printer ran out of Z height or ran out of filament. Could be. This is a big print. Uh, it weighs about 200 grams at 10% infill, which is what I used, uh, which is about 7 ounces. So uh, make sure your printer is all set to go. Uh, you want to be definitely well calibrated so you don't have any delamination. Uh, make sure your print, your print bread is flat. Very important. Get it flat. Make sure you're printing well on smaller items before you give this one a go. Uh, this ran for 5.5 hours on my printer. Um, and I'll share with you my, my print settings. Uh, I ran it through uh, Slicer, currently using uh, 0 0.9.7. So let's take a look. I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the finished print, and I'll show you some video of the, of the print running. And uh, you can see here that I did use a brim. Uh, I normally do not use a brim, uh, but I wasn't quite sure how this thing was going to lay out, and it was so large, I thought I would uh, just put the brim on and cut it off later. Uh, it turned out I didn't need the brim, and there's no support necessary. Uh, so you don't really need a raft or a brim or support, assuming your printer is well set and calibrated. So thanks for taking a look at the low polygon printable mask, and thanks for the 3D library for sharing the file.